Hi guys, welcome to Spurverts Part 2. I'm Barnaby Slater. I'm here with Rhys James. Hello. You should have seen Part 1 by now, but if you didn't, do. We'll leave a little uh, speech bubble up there telling you how to watch it. But in Part 2 today, we're going to talk about another of our young guns, Josh Anoma. He scored on his debut for the England under-90. It's been a good week for, for Spurs players with England. Getting a lot of goals. Not getting a lot of goals for Spurs. I mean... Oh, okay. it's a bit tricky. Yeah. Some of them are on loan that we've talked about, but it seems like it's, it's goal mania right now, but it's not at Spurs, which is a bit frustrating, but it's good. It's good. I Start of the think, season. I think Anoma, who was on the bench uh, against Leicester, will get a few chances for us this yeah. season because obviously, you know, uh, we all agree that um, Mopo and Levy were right not to buy another striker. Like, why would we? Don't need one. No, who needs strikers? So we just need Harry Kane and then Josh Anoma will get a chance off the bench and probably in the Europa League games, the League Cup games. So the fact that he's scoring on his day for England under-19s will give him confidence. Uh, they do one all versus Croatia and it was an equaliser, so that's an important goal. Yeah, they would have been buzzing. He'd have been very what's, happy with it. What's going to stop Josh and Oma from being the next, say, you know, yeah. Chris Armstrong for us? Possibly. Oh, I'd love him to be the next Chrissy Armstrong. Yeah, who else? What a guy. Andy Booth. Andy Booth. Yeah, Gregor's Razak. I, I hope he's not the next Gregor's Razak, I've got to say. Very much hope he's not the next Gregor's Razak. What I hope Reese was going to say... Maybe Rebrov? What I hope Reese was going to say is the next Harry Kane. Because he came from, let's, basically, loan spells and nowhere. Of... But you never know. Josh Anoma is a different type of player, but he could be. Anyway, on to the next thing. Christian Eriksen, who has missed the last two league games. And let's face it, we've missed him. He is rumoured, according to the Evening Standard, and if it's in the papers, what is it? Absolutely true. Absolutely true. Rumoured to Unless be it's fit. about me. Oh yeah, what's been in the papers that's not true about Sagging you? Sagging me off, don't read them, man. Just rumours. Was it a kiss and tell? Something like that. What was his name? Bill! 1970s, 1970s <laughs> hat comedy from us there. You like that? From us? Thought so. Well, you told me to say that. <laughs> I had nothing to do with that, mate. Won't accept that. Christian Eriksen fit against Sunderland away on Sunday, according to the Evening Standard. It's in the papers, it must be true, like Reese's kiss and tell. We've missed him, we've missed him on the set pieces, we've missed him scoring his late winners. Big time. We're gonna beat Sunderland? Yeah, we missed him against Everton big time. It's gonna so we be... look really good at the back, we look really solid and de yeah. defensively, and yeah. we just, just couldn't find that key pass. No guile. And that's who we need, we need Christian Eriksen doing totally it. Totally agree. And Put in the strings. Uh, we're gonna win, hopefully, we both agree on that, but obviously Jermaine Defoe will score against us, so it has to be 2-1-3-1-4-1. That's one. okay, he's in my fantasy team. Is he? Yeah, I'll always stay loyal to Jermaine Defoe. He's I've in my got... fantasy team, I'll accept a goal from him. I've got Berahino in mine, he hasn't even started. Get rid you need to get rid of him. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, okay, and then finally, and this come out from the official Tottenham website this week, Week. For the Europa League game in Monaco uh, this uh, in the next month or two, they have offered a deal where you can fly on the private jet to and from Monaco with the Spurs team, stay in a five-star hotel, watch the game and fly back with them. Guess how much money that's cost? How much? If you had to put a number on how much that would cost to do that, how much would it be? £500,000. Do you know what? Some people have been saying on Twitter that it's a lot of money, this offer. But it's less than five hundred thousand pounds. It is twelve hundred ninety-five pounds. I think, you know, it's great. Do you do you think that's an amazing deal for what you get? Do you think you'll get access to the players? Will you be allowed to talk to them? Yeah, it's awkward because I mean, if I was in the Spurs squad, I wouldn't have said yes to that. No, I wouldn't have agreed that. But they probably don't have a choice. So when you're on the train, for instance, to the Edinburgh Festival, and fans of yours come up to you, Typical. what do you? How do you deal with it? Well, I say you shouldn't be in first class. You. Scumbag. You f***ing munch in mud blood. Get out of first class. <laughs> what on earth is a <laughs> munch in mud blood? You should know, mate. Yeah. <laughs> well, what we've learned from this is that Reese gets the train first class. <laughs> I actually to was driven to, to then, Edinburgh this year. To then year. go and perform in front of eight people per day. <laughs> How dare you? Sell out run. Add a zero to that, but before the eight. Yeah, eight people a day. Zero eight. Uh, anyway, so if any of you are going to pay 1295 to fly Good opportunity for me to, team. to bring up my wages and to see if I could ooh, renegotiate. Uh, I got a plane to catch. Uh, I'll take a camera. <laughs> I'll periscope it. We'll think about it. But if any of you guys yeah. at home are going on that plane, you're going to spend the money, then let us know because we'd like to get in touch with you and maybe we can do some kind of little report whilst you're out there. Let us know, you know, what it was like on the plane, what the food was, who was the biggest <laughs> joker, uh, what the standard Carl of the Walker. cabin crew was like and how bumpy Legends. it was in the turbulence. Yeah. That kind of exciting stuff. So do let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave any comments you've got in the comment section below. Like the video and we'll see you next week again for another episode of Spurverts.
This happens every time, every year, throughout history, so I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to go through my top five transfer deals that got away. In at number five, 